keep up the good work. Thanks. Will do. Pleasantly scorching hot. Pests or garnishes? A good cook sources local supplies when he can. Ooh, I think I hear the health inspector. What? Where? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, that joke never gets old. <laughs> keep up the good work. Thanks. Will do. Well, it's definitely a mop. Active little guys, aren't they? It's amazing what you can achieve if you put your mind to it. And you have a packet of stick-on stars. The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. Well, it's... Stay away from my mop! Looks like a mugshot. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. Are you sure I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got, exactly? I defeated the ghost pirate LeChuck several times. Super ironic that sailing with him is the only way you're getting to Monkey Island. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. Hi, Cobb. Hard to believe after all these years you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the gullible and naive would go looking for it. Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. It's this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. Oh, they're highfalutin dark magic. Look at us! We're so much better than you because we don't bring grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. Then why don't you take off the ask me about Loom button? My grog-riddled body is fused with it. I'm more button than man at this point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old times' sake. Beat it. Say it. No! Say it. Fine. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. Stunning, high-resolution 3D landscapes, sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Yes! Now get lost. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah.
can we talk about mops some more? I'm always happy to talk mop shop. What do you want to know? Remind me how to find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. Remind me how to find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. Remind me how to find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What kind of wood did you say the tree was? I didn't. Okay, thanks. Chuck, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done! Mark yourself down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? He must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed! Wait, let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. Is searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea? Shouldn't we be out terrorizing the high seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk? I've had enough of you questioning my orders! Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board! Very well. Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Things are not what they seem. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. I think it's a chandelier. Looks sort of like an eye. I think it's a chandelier. Hi there, newcomer. Hi. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. What is that? It's definitely not a key. Or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Of course. Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual golden keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. 
I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. What's that key? That's for a lockable quiver. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. What's that lock? That's for hats. And please don't touch the glass. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes they did, yes it was, and they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite fit together. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary. Just information. It seems wrong that you can make a key from just the serial number. It's a fail-safe, in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. What's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the serial number from the lock, I make the key. It's pretty straightforward. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all. But she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. But she moved when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key, one that opens all locks at once. That seems enormously useful. Maybe. Depends on if you can close them again. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. These are nice. Thanks. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine. And she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, the windows need some work. A visitor! <laughs> Wait. Guybrush Threepwood? Ha-ha! <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid! And Stan! Otis, old pal! You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? Not at all. I was in the other cell that time. You look different somehow. Uh, new art style? How nice of you to notice. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that... Too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone, while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. 
I noticed you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Eh? Picking flowers from the governor's garden? Sounds like an unwise choice. We used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Yeah, I'm sort of planning on hijacking an existing crew instead of recruiting one. But maybe I can spring you anyway. For old time's sake. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I am told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine that. Guybrush, you've got to get me out of here. It's custard night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Thanks. Watch your boots in here, son. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. It says, jail rules. One, no escaping. How's your day going? Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. At least this jail has two lamps. Yeah, we are living the life. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. But I've got to think about the optics. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Okay, don't worry about it. I've already got a plan to steal a ship from LeChuck. Well, if you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? People! People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation and even fraud. But it's all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. Is that a real word? More or less. It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. 
I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. But if you're looking for help, you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Thanks. That's... advice. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Sure thing. Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. See you later. Yep. You look like you're having a good time. I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. Eee, a spider. They say the only real prison is... Ugh, it's that same spider. Employees only. It seems to be stuck closed. seems to be stuck closed. Hey, Guybrush! Hey, kid! Carla. Guy brush three wood. Hello, sword master. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. When was the last time you had a bath? Ha! That was marginally clever. It's nice to see you again. You too. I hope you're not still sore about that thing with the ship that one time. Ancient history. Oh, good. I can think of plenty of more recent things to hold against you. Oh. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? I'm not automatically involved with everything Elaine does just because we're married. I can see that. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? Oh. 
you first. What are you doing here? Don't be weird. I know Elaine used to live here, but it's my house now that I'm governor. Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. I don't have it. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Note to the reader. No disguised secrets are revealed in this book. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. It's a lot of work being governor. I like your stuff. I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. Edgy. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. 